XQC calls Hassan an asshole. Clown on me next, please. Fuck. One article fires a shot. Public opinion fires a shot. Everybody fires their shot. Small shots. By by putting everybody in the same globe, and not including me, purposefully, but knowing that I'm part of a group, and always just swooping me in, and I just tank and tank and tank, and I can never say anything. I'm just tanking for everybody else, even though I'm not even linked to them or anything that is related to them. And I tank and more, more tanking, more tanking, more. And the one time that I decided to say, "Yo, guys, it's time to put a stop to this," so the opinion changes somehow, and I don't. Okay, but, like, again. This is like getting mad at CNN for coverage that was going on on Fox News that was fake news. Like, that's what I mean. Okay? And I'm right. I'm literally right. What I said about, what I said about XCC it was like, nobody was shitting on you, dude. You literally inserted yourself into the drama. Okay. And then guess what? I mean, it was good for views. And I think that's good content shit, which is what I did too. Like, I mean, I have my personal opinions on gambling that I've been talking about for a very long time, which people didn't seem to uh, care about back then. Okay. But also on top of that, like, Ethan asked me to join, and I was apprehensive in joining to begin with, but Castle. I will take the fucking clout, certainly. But not a single person talked about XQC being involved in uh, uh, a Gamba before he, he got on it. Ten months Please give credit to XQC for this clout. video. Yes, this is uh, XQ Cal. He's an Overwatch uh, pro. You inserted yourself in the drama, dude? Yeah. I inserted myself into the drama of gambling streams it's been when I talked about it for uh, the past three. three months. And then I also certainly inserted myself into the Gamba streams when Ethan wanted to have me on his show uh, the day before, okay? And then again, the next day when he was talking to XQC and then Train wanted to come on and Train was brought on, Ethan texted me personally to go on his broadcast. Uh, those were the ways that I inserted myself into the drama streams. Um, it's like... It was a self-report. Legit kept saying, no one chat told you to join the call? Yeah, like... Yeah, I just watched the debate and he's super butthurt that you completely clown on him. I mean, look, I, I... He didn't have to do any of that. Like, he literally did not have to do that. He didn't have to join in or even when he joined in, he didn't have to like, look like he was defending uh stake and all this other stuff. Let me sum up the drama. He basically says it wasn't for views and you're kind of a dick for implying it was for views when he plays games that drop his view count, etc. Ajahn, will you ever play Bloodborne again? You know what I mean? Literally had to take since Gamba shit started. Nobody cared until the hot tub drama fell off. Yeah. Hello, folks. Hope everyone's having a glorious Friday. Make sure you all hide. Anyway. And enjoy the show. Take it easy. So. There's a couple different points here, which is like. XQC already apologized and stopped playing uh, and stopped doing Gamba streams because he recognizes why it was bad. You shouldn't get upset when he. So I don't know why he like he's then funny. kept functionally defending it by doing this. Like he could have just easily been like. I don't like that people loop me in with everybody else. Okay. I don't like that people loop me in. Did it? I don't like that people loop me in with everyone else, dude. I already said that the gamble was bad, dude. <sighs> and I shouldn't have done it, dude. I hate that uh, everybody talks about me, dude. And he could have even followed that up by saying, did it, dude? You guys didn't bring me up, dude. But I still want to, you know, talk about it for a second, dude. You know what I mean? Something like that.
shielded. He was acting like a kid originally came on to defend everyone gaining up on Aiden. Yeah, I mean, he, he was right. Like, it was going to look bad for all the people that are still, like, defending Gamba streams, right? But he's not one of those people. So why the fuck was he, like, upset and wanted to defend Gamba streams? Like, if your position is that you think that, uh, yes, Gamba streams are not good, which is why you stopped doing it, which, you know, great. I, I respect that. Then why are you still defending it, dude? It makes you look bad. And then people are going to fucking make more content out of it. You know what I mean? They're going to say, like, XQC still defending Gamba streams. And then you're going to get mad again. And then you're going to fucking be like, why the fuck are people still saying, like, I'm defending Gamba streams or whatever? Because you kind of are. <laughs> like, that's the point. He says he gets lumped in, not necessarily by you or H3H3. H3. Yeah, I, I, I get that. But, like, we never... Like, I didn't bring up XQC when we were talking about Gamba Streams uh, the original day. I don't think Ethan did either. Hi. Yeah, he literally stopped gambling for the reasons you guys were arguing against Aiden. And now he's saying you and H3 can't argue against Gamba Streams because their articles drag him into it. Like, like it doesn't make sense. Like, if he agrees with those fucking takes, then I don't know. Like, what more? Let's watch the rest. I'm like a fucking dumbass, like all the time. And the one that I do this, I get called out for doing it for views. How fucking disgusting. Fuck you, asshole. Suck my balls. <laughs> Hassan can, can lick my crust, man. What is wrong with <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Oh, God. You know he's crusty as fuck, too. Why does XG think he's some kind of genius? He's clearly a dumbass. I don't think he's a dumbass. I think he's very... I, I think he's very smart. Which, ironically, was me explaining... My, my, my reasoning, or... I don't know which clip he's watching, but I suspect the clip he was watching was when I was like... Dude, I, he, he inserted himself into the drama and it's good content. And I agree. I think it is good content. Okay. And there is no like other additional moral reason because it doesn't make sense. It's like not logical for him to get back into the battle and defend Gamber streams functionally when he agrees with both me and Ethan. You see what I'm saying? It's good content for his audience. It's good style. content, Skull. Do you see what I'm saying? You don't think XQC is smart? Stop lying. I've literally been advocating that XQC is smart. Nice Even back when he had fucking 7k viewers, niggas. motherfucker. I've been saying it since day one. Hassle. Just because you can game something doesn't mean you're smart, especially you have an in. Damn King, I don't know. If, 14 months pog. I don't know if excuse the Hoscord is roasting you. I mean SpongeBob is a wonderful character, so being compared to him uh with my fit is actually a good thing. So fuck you guys. Okay. Uh then he continued with this. Excuse on people wanting to join train to get on the what? Talk to H3H3 privately. Me and him on stream, but I mean privately. And have a private one-to-one -one conversation, right? So I could debunk some of the bullshit and move on my life. And then Hassan joins the podcast. Wait, what? That's not how that happened. What the fuck? <laughs> Does he think people didn't see the clips? Like, I don't understand. He had 120,000 people watching at the time. What? <laughs> what the fuck? Why does he always do this? Up the good work, hassle. <laughs> uh, why do you give XG so much credit? Look at this. He's offending you. Dude, I'm so offended by this. I am. Stop nonchalance and high-roading pussy. Nonchalance. Ha 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 ha!
Nice nonchalance. <laughs> you dumbass. Anyway. So what actually happened is uh, he invited Train on and I was, of course, watching just like everyone great else tons. was watching because it was fucking great content that we were stealing without letting, uh, without giving credit to the uh, actual content creator, Ethan Klein, H3H3. Um, he invited Train on. I was still watching at that point. Ethan texted me and said, do you want to come on? And I told you guys. I told him, uh, I don't know. I think it'll like, I know the chatter is quoting XQC. That's why I'm laughing. What are you talking about? XQC was the referee of the debate. Dude, so much good content came out of this. Like, I think it's hilarious. I don't mean this is an insult, but Hasanabi was an afterthought of Ethan during that debate. There wasn't a premeditated plan to have you join the debate in the middle of it. Okay, bro. I mean, that's not... Not nice, dude. Um, but you're true. But you're right. Even when someone else calls you an asshole and says it's all your fault because he's a big streamer and you know him, he gets to call you an asshole. Awesome, lol. Yeah, remember when um, I talked about how I care about the actions and the consequences of said actions, which is why I was criticizing this big streamer XQC originally when he was doing Gamba streams for the past three fucking months, uh, and uh, not a single person ever uh, recognizes that part of this conversation, or the fact that I was literally debating him on, like, not doing Gamba streams. Like, what? where is the... Where are these takes coming from? I criticize XQC, I'm fucking clout chasing... I'm dick riding so I can, like, uh, you know, get more viewers. I don't criticize XQC, or if he says some dumb shit and I laugh at it, instead of getting, like, upset, then, uh, he's a bigger streamer, and that's why I'm doing this, because I'm a pussy. Like, how am I both of those things at the same fucking time, dude? Can you guys, like, can you guys at least, like, figure one part of it out? Like, it's so stupid. They're coping with what you said, which was correct. Anyway, XQC had a train to the conversation. Ethan asked me to come on later. Why didn't you talk to him? But wait, why didn't you talk to him? But what? At ShitCon? And then Train joins the podcast. And then Miz reacts to the podcast. And then everybody opens the podcast on their streams. Yet, yet, I'm the one who opened up a dead convo at zero views. And everybody jumps on the train. Everybody hops on my train. And yet, Wait, I'm what? the one doing it for views. Wait, also, I literally admit that, like, it's great. Like, I, I also admit that, like, the, the viewer bandwagon is great. Like, yeah. I don't think this uh, argument was a productive one, even remotely. It could have been. I don't know. But, uh, no, I... I don't even like disagree yeah it was definitely he had 120k views during the fucking debate drama and that's because it was debate drama and i had 60k viewers during the debate drama so hi he's just mad that anyone even noticed that he made that mistake isn't it Ethan's content train in the first place that he was jumping in on? I mean, yeah, he literally fucking apparently DM'd me while the first day while I was talking uh, to Aiden Ross. I didn't even see it. I would have fucking had him on in a heartbeat. I literally told him. I told him in tw on Twitter. I was like, you really think I wouldn't have fucking brought you on I if I saw you uh, DM me to get on the fucking original conversation, even though we weren't talking about him at all? I would have loved that. It would have been fucking content. And I said as much to him, too, by the way. Where the fuck is it? I said the, the, the shit that he was like, when you were actively throwing everyone under the bus, I said, I didn't see it until after you. You think it wouldn't make better content to have you on, LMAO? Both you and Miss saw it. Miss definitely knew the whole time. What's up with that? I said, I, said, I saw it after, at which point you wouldn't want to come.
I don't know why we're moving on from like the original shit. Be honest, if it was any chatter on the stream saying the same things you'd be calling my dumbass. Yes, because an anonymous fucking chatter is completely devoid of context and nuance. And I don't know their background at all. So of course I'm going to treat it differently, dude, than someone I know. Okay? Someone I've known for years. Someone I've hung out with. What a fucking stupid take. Like, what, what is this? I don't know why people are like, huh, where's the logical consistency? You don't treat a fucking coworker of yours that you've known for years that you literally fucking hang out with uh, with the same way that you disrespect a, uh, a, a gray name chatter that a, like, uh, yeah. Yeah, of course, dude. You never message Miz. I don't know why people are lying. I don't know. Hey man, here's a question I'm looking for. He's explaining gish galloping. Oh my god, this is awesome. My answer. Okay. I'm the one saying the question. Excuse That's me, Hassan. The and then what, what they do is this. What they do is this. Oh man, here's your answer, man. Bang! 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 And by the time you f you finish letting him talk about it, right? Now you have you have one, two, three, four, five new extreme giant arguments that would take hours to talk about or disprove. Okay, but like I didn't change the context of the argument. What is your on the list? What does that mean? What list? I would bring. I would bring up, I would bring up something and then he would, what does that mean? You're on the list? Answer, man. Bang, 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 bang. And by the time you, f you finish letting him talk about it, right? Now you have, you have one, two, three, four, five new extreme giant arguments that would take hours to talk about or disprove. And we completely forgot about the main question. I mean, he knows what gish galloping is. Like, he's right. That is, that is like, you know, a very uh, XQC way of describing gish galloping. But uh, that is correct. It's just incorrect in the... Uh, it's incorrect in the way that he's applying it to, like, what I was saying. 100, 100, 100. The issue of gambling is already complicated, and then you add on top of that the ethics of streaming and promoting it. Did he expect the conversation to take five minutes? I mean, I just, uh, I, I don't know how to uh, go about it. I literally think he doesn't understand he's mad because he knows he effed up and comes off looking worse I, but like he doesn't even need to he doesn't even need to like continue uh, completely technically forgot. defending this it's completely buried so yeah to yell them i haven't seen this kind of confidence of being wrong since the last time i went to reddit <laughs> no my funny i think the funniest part was when he compared it to water or uh, didn't understand what I meant when I said like, well, there's a, there's an ethical reason or a moral reason behind like, you know, self-harm being a TOS violation. Uh, and then he like reduced it to water or when he, when he meant non sequitur, which is the correct term, but like incorrectly used there, but it's a correct debating terminology, <laughs> but he said nonchalant. <laughs> But yeah, I don't know why, like, they kept pivoting away from, like, the original point. And then when I would address that, the second point that they were making, then they were like, you're gish galloping. Subscription price for my country and I can afford sub hassle. So I don't, I don't know what to say about that. Like, like, that's not, I'm, I'm just going, I'm letting you guide the conversation. I'm, I'm letting you steer the combo. I've heard you say you use the wrong term like five times now. Chill, lol. No, that's what you did. 
I miss when y'all had good conversation about unions and stuff. I mean, we'll still do that. Like, it's not like... You know what I mean? It, we're not gonna... I don't, I don't hate him. Like, I don't think he hates me. I think he's just, like, mad. You said he's, he's your friend and you said he's a view count Andy? No, I was defending as the, I was giving a, a, a further explanation as to why he like, I personally think he inserted himself into the argument because otherwise it makes no sense. Okay. It's literally the smart thing to do is inserting yourself into the drama and like, you know, milking some content out of it. It's a really dumb thing to do. If you just simply inserted yourself into that argument by, and, and, and like literally went and started defending Gamba streams functionally. Okay, because that's what people are going to get out of this, that you are literally defending Gamba streams when you yourself already stopped doing it and apologized for it. Does that make sense? So it, the other part doesn't make sense. There's only two ways to go about it. Either he, like, you know, either he uh, was m upset about other people looping him in and misunderstood, I guess, because we didn't fucking loop him in at all considering that he uh, originally apologized. And I guess apologized again for doing the Gamba streams and shit like that, which great. I mean, I, I don't want anything more than that. Like, what more can I do? He keeps getting bunched in, but like, not by us, dude. Not by us. Like I said, it's like getting mad at CNN for something Fox News said. CNN and Fox News are covering a fucking story. Fox News is just lying about the story. So then you go on CNN and yell at CNN about yelling, uh, about lying about you. And CNN's like, well, we didn't do that. What the fuck? That makes no sense. You're being super charitable to him. Pretty sure his ego made him go on and defend himself. What am I going to do? You, you shouldn't give all on stream. You shouldn't do it. We've known this. I said it. Oh, what don't, is that? don't do it. I'm sorry for doing it. I, 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 I'm genuinely sorry. H3HD did not mention him when we were talking to Aiden Ross. What the fuck are you talking about? That I gave it on stream. I was there. He okay. never mentioned him. I wish you could take it back. I can't. I'm trying to move on. Okay. All I'm trying to do now is at least the people that are going to be called out next. that I'm not lumped with some of the things that they do that I didn't do. Can you at least guys give me that? At least give me the the, the benefit of of, of not. <laughs> you mentioned Trainwreck's TV though. Yeah, of course he did, because Train is still doing Gamba streams, so that's why he mentioned Trainwreck. You just said you're literally wrong, and you're just talking out of your ass. Okay, I mean, I I don't think I don't think I'm wrong. I don't think most people think I'm wrong. I don't even think his, I don't think his uh, uh, community even thinks I'm wrong. I think like outside of like the highest level of uh, simping, uh, I, I doubt it. Like even most of the simps that come in here from his, from his chat are literally like saying, well, you know, uh, he, he joined the debate because uh, he wanted to defend himself because people keep, uh, people keep, uh, H2 did mention XUC in a past podcast episode. Big ups. I don't know. I don't know when he did. Um, but ultimately, it doesn't matter. Like, of course, he, he could have fucking mentioned XUC at, at a given point in time. Like, but in the framework of, like, us talking about people who are consistently still doing Gamba streams, XUC was not mentioned. Because from what I understand, he stopped doing it, and he's not even doing it. Like... <laughs> That's the funniest part about the XUC part of the combo is that like, he literally agrees with me. Like he agrees with me. So if he agrees with me, why the fuck is he, uh, you know, putting himself in a situation where he literally looks like he's defending Gamba and disagreeing with me. Does that make sense? I agree with your points, but isn't it kind of weird that you call people XUC Sims when they do not agree with you? 
We're on Twitch, brother. Most people are XQC simps on this platform, including other fucking content creators. He's the biggest platform. He's the biggest fucking uh, uh, Twitch streamer on the platform. What the fuck are you talking about? And also, he does have literal stands. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? XQC chat fucking hates you. Give it to me, dude. During the podcast, in his own stream, a lot of people were defending you. 12 months hassle, very pugge and pad. You foster sim culture towards yourself, so you shouldn't be the one speaking on XUC sims, to be honest. I, I agree. Yeah. I'm just saying that even the hardcore sims are not going to defend... Even the hardcore sims are not, like, defending the actual argument itself, but instead defending uh the fact that like this is why he wanted to get on the podcast or something looking like the other cock lords can we actually can i act at least have this if i'm gonna get shit on by everybody on the internet can i at least have the very bottom of the barrel of not lumbing me in with everybody that's all i asked for I, what again Hassle, i love you big daddy i uh i don't disagree with him uh on like people lumping him in and shit but the reality is, like, he's kind of doing it to himself now. You feel me? Like, why are you putting yourself in a position where you're, like, you're literally... Like, I don't understand. You're literally making it seem like you are defending the Gamma Streams. And that's kind of strange. Especially because, like, said multiple times that you he has the opposite point. Tadeen trying to make roll the kid. Out of all he knows you and H3's taste will be paraphrased by the news and set the narrative, so he wanted you guys to set a clear distinction of all the facts and be blamed for only what he did. Representation to the maximum. Fucking Tadeen, brother. Fucking Tadeen. 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 <laughs> Sick shirt, brother. Yeah. But he wouldn't be mad if he said if you said he's dumb by saying he's doing it for the content, you're just assuming his motivations. Yes, I happen to think that he's smarter than how people uh think he is. Yeah. That's why I said he's uh you know, he's he's doing a little little self insert there. You know, it's good. It's good. It's good content for his community. What the fuck? He stopped streaming for the first time. Oh no, man! Lots of people are confused GTA about what your contention was. Why you are arguing about gambling after marriage. stopping gambling streams? I feel like that very much means public perception is not against you. Never learn something more complicated than an Overwatch meta. All right, let's calm down. Neither Hassan or X are probably that smart. My take from this is that someone from Hassan's chat called XG a bad person for defending gambling. Hassan said, no, he's just doing it for the content since he already apologized for gambling and said that he himself joined the podcast for views and content. It wasn't a diss at XQC. If anything, he kind of defended XQC from chatters who were confused as to why X would come on the podcast and give dog shit arguments to come off as he was defending gambling, <laughs> even though he apologized for it, which led people to conclude that his apology was disingenuous and he actually feels like he did nothing wrong. I mean, it's literally, yeah, exactly. I'm so confused. I found what X you probably heard and misunderstood to you guys is lumping him in. True. What? XQC chat isn't old enough to form opinions. What's not true? Is XQC a normie streamer? He's just fucking, you know. 100% dude. Yes, 100%. He's a normie streamer. Mi you are a normal streamer if you are over If you are a normal years, person, you, normal you, you, you know what a normal person does when they click on XQC stream? They go, what the fuck is going on here? And they click out. Well, hold yeah, because I just went live. But hold you on, are hold completely. On. I want to talk to Aiden. <laughs> You guys know that this is about, like, XQC being the largest streamer on the platform and not being a normie, right? This has nothing to do with, like, the Gamba. Like, the only time XQC was ever brought up in this 2 hour and 38 minute conversation is when Miskiff said to Aiden that anyone over 10,000 viewers is a normie streamer. And I said, XQC's not a fucking normie streamer. Get... 
get uh, Aiden's dick out of your mouth because he doesn't want to be a normie streamer. Normie, normie Wait, you are a fucking, you know, 100%, dude. Here, let's watch. Let's start from the top here. I normie, anything over like 10,000 viewers dude, with you guys and stuff, I was very thrown off. I was like, why are they picking on me, bro? You know, like, dude, Aiden, thought, you want to know something? I love you guys, though, now. I understand your humor. Yeah, Aiden, what's up? We're normie streamers, man. I, 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 I when know, you have I anything over like 10,000 viewers, you're a fucking normie. Everyone's a normie. Am I normie right now? It's hard. Uh, it's hard I mean, for yeah, Missy you got that. It's hard for Missy to speak right now because he's got your dick in his mouth, but he's he's letting it out. What do you mean? No, it's not true. It's not true. What? What's oh, not what, true? Is, you see a normie streamer? He's just fucking. You know. One hundred percent, dude. Yes, a hundred percent. He's a normie Mid, streamer. Wait, you Mid. are a normal streamer if you are over. If 10, you are a normal you person, a normal you, you you know what a normal person does when they click on XQC stream? They go, "What the fuck is going on here?" And they click out. Well, hello. yeah, because I just went live. But hold you on, are completely. I want to talk to Aiden. <laughs> we have a VIP here. Masana game with the shit take. You guys think XQC is a normie streamer? What the fuck? How, dude? His entire stream is like 10 year old degenerates, dude. Anyway, the reason, the only reason why XQC was ever brought up was it had nothing to do with gambling. And I was, you know, defending his uh, content and his community from the. Horrific, uh, horrific pejorative being associated with Normans. So I don't even think he saw this. I think he just literally thought we're talking Gamba and we must mean him. We must be talking about him. You know what I mean? I think that's, that's all that. I think that's the reason why he uh, hopped on the combo. Because he thought that we were talking about him. And, like, he wanted to get on the combo the day before when we were talking to Aiden. Because, like, you know, it's fun. It's fun content. I don't know why, like, uh, people... I don't know why people uh, make it seem as though, like, all of this is just for moral reasons. It's like... Calling out he was doing it for the views is kind of bad, in my opinion. But, like, because no one was talking about him! No one was looping him in. He looped himself in. That's the point. So it makes no sense. Two months sick. He added himself into the convo. You were? No, no one was talking about him. In this two hour and 38 minute broadcast, the only time you will find the mention of XQC is Can when we were talking about uh, fucking normie streamers and how he's not a normie streamer despite the fact that he's big. Because, like, he already apologized for it. And now, I mean, he did. Everyone's talking about him now. But the issue is, now it just makes it seem like he's, uh... It just makes it seem like he's not... It makes it seem like he, he's defending Gamba streams again. I think it's because no one provided counter-argument for the Gamba streamers that didn't do the scam Gamba. I guess you should just take him at his word for now instead of trying to rationalize it. Anyway. Soda Poppin called you an idiot, but you don't say anything then? I didn't see it. Yo, Soda Poppin can catch these fucking hands too. Let's go. Excuse me, would rather you say is a big ego than be a viewer count Andy? He hates viewer count Andy's more than anyone? I mean, dude. Okay. Okay. How I am subscribed to you for more than two years. I think Soda Pop and, uh, uh, had better criticism about that than anyone else, to be honest. Soda literally said that while lying about how you never say you care about your views. You saw it. You just didn't care because he was wrong. What? 
I, I do care. I, I do care about viewers. Everyone does. A every streamer does. It's like a quantifiable metric to an otherwise qualitative analysis. Of course people care about it. You're literally getting a constant feedback on how you are performing. I, of course I do. I, it's my job. And I, I do care. And everyone does. 30 yil Arjan. Time is ticking Arjan. That's Pogo what Arjan. you said immediately after saying what he, seeing what he said. Of course you said Soto was wrong. Yeah. <sighs> anyway. I just don't know. I wish he hadn't, like, uh, I guess, defend, seemingly defended Gamba on the H3 issue stream because now everyone's going to fucking loop him in and be like, this guy who apologized for doing Gamba streams is now functionally defending Gamba. In my opinion, I think Hassan gives X too much credit. Hassan believes everything X does for Uncheck content and viewers ass. when there's a, and there's a five-head reason for everything he does. But personally, I think X is more in the moment opportunist type of person, which can be good and bad. Okay, but that's literally, you're agreeing with me then. Like in this situation, I personally think the articles got to him and he had some nice things. He had some things he wanted to clear up when he saw the podcast as an opportunity to do that, but he went about it in the worst way possible without caring about what Hassan's and Ethan's actual stance on the whole thing was. And then when he couldn't get his point across, he attacked their character. Like I'm pretty sure what he meant to do was convince people that Steg is legit. And because it's legit, you shouldn't be calling a scam because then that would leave room for people to call the people who took a sponsor from them bad and scammers. And what Ethan and Hassan were saying is they don't think the streamer should be promoting that type of gambling in general. And they had many different reasons for it, including the fact that the site may or may not be legit. True. Good. It's funny. Hassan has literally thrown an entire skeleton in XUC at this point, and XUC still hasn't picked up that there's an easy out for him, and that being so insistent is completely wasted energy and doesn't help him at all. X is defending it. He resents apologizing. I think he feels soft canceled is why he lumped himself in there. There are legit criticisms, but blanket no Gamba is invalid. Nobody except XQC haters right on LSF. <sighs> anyway. But it was literally on XQC's side. I think people uh, simply just don't listen to what people are saying. Um, and they just pick up whatever they feel is picked up. This drama was weak, dude. There, there was no meat on this. I thought there would be more. I thought there would be more meat to this. I thought he would like some fucking serious like criticism. Like, fuck you. Instead of calling out the media using his name, he went on to debate to minimize the obvious red flags of a crypto-based gambling operation run out of a fucking shed in Curacao. He was upset that would question stakes legitimacy when there are valid reasons to question it. Yeah. Why do XQ fanboys swarm over here when there's any minor controversy? I mean, there's, this is nothing. This is literally... This is literally nothing in comparison to like what it normally looks like when people get fucking when when you know XG's fans are like upset at you. If he were to bring it up, if he were to talk about it on a stream, you would see it. You need the views. Dude, I have 32,000 people in here. That's like pretty good for my first hour of streaming. You know what I mean? That's like this is usually what I have, up or down. It's point. usually pretty much this. You know what I mean? If you see a, if you see a, a an increasing amount of uh, people coming in here to be like, "Hey, dude, you're a fucking Nine idiot. You're a fucking idiot." Thanks That's mostly because like X, you probably brought it up. H three debate. What is this? Today's my. 
Oh, we okay, yeah. Streamers DMCA banned by Olympics while in public parks and streets. What the fuck? If you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>